House of Hermes. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. Oh, that was actually a new one. I'm going to have to keep that. <laughs> uh, today, we're going to be reacting to a song. It's called Legends uh, by Juice World. I got a bunch of requests to do another Juice World song, so this goes out to you guys. And you know me, I'm going to try to break down these bars the best I can, so let's do this. I usually don't speak on shit like this, but nobody else is. You can already tell this is going to be deep. So this is a conversation he's having with someone else via text message. Uh, it says, you're the truth. Just be careful what you manifest. That's my honest response. And then it says, thank you much. Oh, okay. So Juice World is actually responding to the other person. Thank you. Much love to you. Uh, and it says, if you need anything, you ask me. I can read good energy from you. Make sure that's the only energy you put yourself around. Great advice. And then Juice World's like, much appreciated, but how can I surround myself with good energy when it's bad energy everywhere it seems like? Yeah, I can kind of relate to that. The problem is being around like negative people and negative energies that you can easily give that person permission to steal your joy and impact your own state of mind in a negative way. Um, the best advice I can give you guys is just stay positive and keep your own power and just do what I do. Give them the silent treatment. Shit. <laughs> All right, let's go. I usually have an answer to the question, but this time I'm gonna be quiet. This time, ain't nothing like the feeling of uncertainty, the eeriness, the silence. This time it was so unexpected. Last time it was the drugs he was lacing. All legends fall in a making. Sorry, truth. Dying young. Demon you. Super melodic, man. I love Juice World's voice and just how he sings and uh, if you guys don't know this he's actually a phenomenal rapper um, he did like an hour uh, freestyle on the Tim Westwood um, YouTube channel you should check it out it's pretty pretty sweet so basically he's all like all legends die in the making sorry truth dying young demon youth so there's a couple things he said so when he says the drugs that, that was lacing I think he was talking about Lil Peep um, you know the mixture of drugs that he took when he when he OD'd rest in peace brother um, and then earlier he was like demon youth, you know, people are dying young. I think he's talking about XX Tension when he passed away, when the dude, you know, gunned him down in the street. Um, just overall, just kind of acknowledging like the, the generation, like the demon youth. Oh, that makes sense. I think the person that he's talking to via text, maybe XX Tension, because they were actually really close. Uh, if you guys know, please uh, leave a comment below. What's the 27 club? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, what's the 27 club you know what I mean we ain't even making past 21 if you guys don't know what the 27 club is it basically um, all the people like you know it, it's basically an urban legend that popular musicians and artists like died at the age of 27 I know there was Kurt Cobain was one of them. I was a huge Nirvana fan uh, Amy Winehouse was another one um, who else Jimi Hendrix uh, Jim Morris and there, I'm, there's I'm sure there's a bunch more that died at the age of 27 um, so he was like, we ain't even making past 21. Like, what's a 27 club? And um, I think that was specifically in regards to Lil Peep and X, because I think they died at the age of 20 or 21. Um, again, if you guys know, leave a comment below, but I think that was specifically for them. Generation we live in, man. the legends die young what the fuck is this about um I, there's a bunch of idols of mine like uh bruce lee was one of them died at a really long uh, young age um just saying all the legends die young like why would I, why would i want to be a legend uh this song is deep and i just thought about it too it's like he almost like i don't want to use the word predicted uh because obviously he didn't deliberately do it but he he died um before the age of 21 or he didn't pass 21 i believe um died at midway airport um, died from a seizure actually um, so sad man dude so so freaking talented man it's just unbelievable uh, he, he had a seizure apparently and due to him going under uh, cardiac arrest his heart was failing I heard so um, I don't know if there was like like uh, strong evidence that he died like from drugs or maybe there was I haven't really looked into it but so sad dude I'm trying to make it up I'm trying to change the world I'm trying to take her out I'm trying to take you, girl. More importantly, I'm trying to change the world. Maybe you touch some diamonds and pearls. Yeah. I usually have an answer to the question, but this time I'm going to be quiet. Damn, I love this song. It's got goosebumps, man. Wow. Ain't nothing like the feeling of uncertainty, the eeriness, the silence. Dude, 
I just want to cry right now. Like, real talk, dude. Like, when I hear this, oh my god, this is probably one of my favorite Juice Roll songs, I swear to god. Because I think the song may have came out like about a year and a half before he passed away, if I'm not mistaken. Um, just knowing that he didn't live past 21 years old, man, it's just like, uh, like how he how he published the song and produced the song, and just like end up being the truth, it ended up being like reality. You know, it's just it's just unreal, dude. Unbelievable. is it gonna end you know um it's just like people take life for granted man like life is beautiful man you just gotta like manifest it and make it what you want your life to be you know um man this song is deep really deep <laughs> phenomenal song hey guys thank you so much for giving me this opportunity on checking out my channel uh if you like the content please press that uh, like button uh subscribe if you haven't already uh, done so thank you so much you guys have a great night later